43 right now and brand new kids are getting ready obviously to go back to school soon but one local eighth grader getting ready to possibly win $25,000. Yeah, this kid's this kid's impressive. A finalist in 3M's Young Scientist wow. Challenge, Rithvik Iju, a student at Challenge School in Englewood is live via Skype this morning. What is up? Good morning. Good to have you. Uh, so Tell me about this. You've got this glove that you designed, or at least you conceptualized. How did you enter this contest? How did you think of this? Mm -hmm. So um, I entered this contest because uh, I really like science and I really like building things. And I heard about the Young Scientist Challenge when um, three years ago, another kid from Colorado, Jitanjali Rao, um, won the challenge. So this year I just decided I would enter my uh, project and see how it went. So my 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 so last July my grandfather had a stroke, mm -hmm. and one of the things he was having problems with as he was going through rehab was movement in his right hand. So he really didn't like the the physical trainer like touching him and moving his oh. limbs for him. So um, I tried to make my design to allow a stroke patient to complete therapy on their own time and uh, like without a physical trainer. So the revolving concept around my project is neuroplasticity, which is the, um, the ability of the brain to adapt and rewire its neurons to learn basically anything through repetition. So the way it works is um, I have to, it's, it's, it's a two-piece glove system that replicates the motion from the functioning hand of a stroke patient into the damaged hand. Wow. So, we're in awe so, over here. Sorry, we're just we're watching the video of you demonstrating <laughs> yeah. it. So if you move the right hand, it'll replicate that that motion in the left hand, uh, for example. And just relearning, right? So the idea is that, um, so the, in my design, the left hand acts as the functioning hand Got it. of a stroke patient. That's the hand that's not affected by the stroke, and the right hand is the hand that does not have any motion. So. The idea is that once you bend the finger of the functioning hand, it would send the angle that your finger is bent at over to the right hand glove, which would turn on a servo motor that is tied to the finger. And the servo motor would pull down the finger until the right hand uh, flex sensor read the same angle as the left hand flex sensor. So the idea behind that is that if a patient um, com like repetitively did this activity, their brain would eventually learn how to move the right hand regardless of the left hand. How long did it take for you to put this together? Um, it took like, I think four or five months. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, so my kid drew a picture of a frog yesterday. <laughs> uh, so I have to ask you, I mean, uh, were you into Legos? Like when you were younger, how did you get interested in this kind of stuff to kind of really put your brain to this kind of stuff? What, what sparked this for you? Yeah, so um, I, I want to be an engineer when I grow up, and the reason for that is because I really like making things. Uh, when I was younger, I used to have a ton of fun with Legos, and I just really enjoyed putting things together. Cool. So, so that's the reason I like engineering, and I like just building things. I like you. Yeah, I like you too. You're, we're we're you're probably going to end kid. up working for you one day. Oh, yeah, I know. Right? We actually work for him now. <laughs> yeah. they, they haven't told you yet. But uh, so here's the deal. October 12th and 13th, uh, you along with other finalists are going to be competing in a virtual final event and we'll be watching. We are rooting for you. We'd love to talk with you before that happens to kind of get your, your, your mindset before mm -hmm. that goes in. Good luck. Thank you so much. Congratulations, by the way, on just being a part of this program. Yeah. Thank you so much. Brilliant teenager there. I, 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 just, I, 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 I don't I, feel smart right now. I feel now. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, what a cool kid. And yeah. I love that it was a problem with a family member. He no said, kidding. I'm going to try the to solve this. The backstory is awesome, yeah. It was this grandpa. I think I'm going to help my grandpa. Right. That's so cool. Let's go over to Brooks. Oh. Talk about your... Uh